picture right there tell me that's not a visual tell me that is not ca like oh going on guys what's going on y'all sure go on yeah welcome to Anya's world we are back we are back i took a week off i needed to just whew, decompress from the last <laughs> previous week and the whole um issue with the editing it was just it was a lot like having to record an entire um video and having there not be an audio to it oh guys i i but we are back uh, we are back today. Um, for those of you that are still messaging my comments, thank you, thank you so much for all the comments, um, for all the ideas, um, for all the, um, not ideas, but the insights on a lot of the groups that I am reacting to, uh, as well as Linus211. Thank you. I cannot wait to watch Wonderful World. Um, I'm excited for that actually. I am very excited for that. It's it's going on my list. When I go when I travel and come back, it's definitely going on my list to begin watching. Maybe I'll be able to do a review for that one too as well. So I can't wait. Um but yeah guys, we are at 700 subs. Uh thanks so much. Thank 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 you, thank you, thank you so much. By the way, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead, go do it, go do it. Hit thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. We're going to be posting the we're going going to be we're gonna be having these videos posted um every Wednesday, every Wednesday. So get that notification button up. For those of you that are new to my channel, um I did say we're going to kind of revamp the way I do reactions. Um our videos are just revamping the entire thing. So we're gonna start off with requests, so requests from y'all from Onye's world from y'all um we're gonna start off with requests and then we're going to go into Onye's choices of the week i know i have a whole sweater on because i'm cold <sighs> i'm cold um so yeah we're gonna go starting from requests and then we're gonna go into ooh, my nails <gasps> they're so cute they're so cute <laughs> we're gonna go into Onye's choices of the week and then the review um we're gonna do a show slash movie review for this week this week's i believe is shogun I just started watching it. Um, we're gonna do a review for the first episode, um, and then we'll just continue um, on as I watch more of the episodes. Uh, disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. I talk a lot. It's a reaction channel. I do. Um, if you don't want me to talk, this may not be the channel for you, but we do enjoy your reviews anyway. Um, you're welcome to skip through and to see my reaction in different places. More than welcome to. Um, but yeah, so first up, what are we doing? Let's get into it. First up, um, this one was actually a re uh, a request from over a year ago. I just never saw it. Um, this request, I forgot who the person requested it. I'm sorry to see. I'm so sorry. Um, I'll try and find the name and post it up here somewhere here. Um, but the name is Alamat Maharani. Um, someone told me to react to this and say that there was very good vocals, RV kind of vibes. So I kind of found the um, studio dance performance and I want to check it out. So let's check it out. I don't know what I am getting myself into with this one, um, but we're going to see, I guess we're going to see. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Is everything going on? Yeah, let's go. If I lose the audio to this, I'll be so pissed again. Oh, well, let's go. Let's go. I'm curious. Maharani. I've never heard from them, by the way, about them. Okay, I see what the yeah, I see what you're saying. The vocals. The vocals. It's already drawing me in. It's already drawing me in. And I'm over here like, what is this? What is, what is going on here? Okay. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey,
R&B vibe, I think. Yeah. I really do like the fact that I'm like, I'm watching the young A, A, A. Okay, I kind of like that dance move. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I like the dance move. Some nice little. The body rolls. The body rolls. Oh. Oh, they are dancers. So, my guy my guy over here my guy over here that's just rolling his body like it's just a freaking like he has no bones like oh my god okay all right i guess that's why they gave they made him shirtless I really like um and you guys tell me what you guys feel about this too. When people rap in different languages, it just hits different. Like different good. Don't get me wrong, different good. It just hits like different, different. Like even when you um when you listen to a rap artist, like a UK rap artist, and they're rapping, like yeah, it's still English, but it hits different. It hits different. Maybe I'm just I've been too desensitized by um American rap, but yeah, it hits different. It hits different. Because it's, it's also a different kind of like skill. Mr. No Bones with the freaking body roll. Like, if you watch him dance and watch everyone else dance, like, he's a little extra and I love it. I love it. I'm gonna have to circle down and, and look more into them. Like, I'm curious. Look, look at Mr. Vertebrae. Mr. Vertebrae. Mr. No, um, no Bones. Like, he has an extra to his dance. Okay, okay. Oh, that's their name, Thomas Zhao Mo Arji? Tameo Alice. No bad, no bad, no bad, no bad. Let's look into them. Because now I'm truly curious as to who they are. Who are they? Let's see. Ah, they're Filipino. Ah, okay. So, Alamat is a nine member. I didn't see nine. I guess they may have reduced. Okay. Um, they debuted in 2021 and is known for being the second P-pop group to appear on the Billboard chart. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. Okay. All right. Wait. They were formed... Oh, they were formed in 2020 and debuted in 2021. And they're still active. Okay. So they're, they're this because okay, so this is the first Filipino boy band I've, I've heard of. Um, and even this is the first time I'm even going into that world. So this is fun, guys. This is fun. Okay, okay, all that. Okay, okay. Let me know what you guys thought about that um song. Well, that reaction. Well, the song itself in the comment section. 
um and for those who do know them what are your favorite songs of them i will go into my chat i'll react i'll go into the comments girls speak properly today i will go into the comments and see what we can do in regards to reacting to those in the next r and r um for your requests section um so yeah cool yeah 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 i'll allow a new group that i can react to i don't know why i just did this lord help me Alrighty. so the next the next request that we are reacting to is guess you guys can y'all guess can y'all guess can y'all guess well you guys should know no not really <laughs> but the next group we're reacting to is got seven eclipse this one was from a few months ago you guys know i am i am beginning to be a got seven fiend um and this one is eclipse so we are excited um i'm going to react to this one um and if i like it i'm going to react to their dance practice if i don't like it if it's not on my cup of tea then we're just gonna move on to onya's choice of the week bet bet all right let's let go let's go let's see i love that though If you didn't know, I, I, I love lyrics. I love paying attention to lyrics. But when it comes to certain groups, I throw out the window. Because I'm in fangirl mode. Uh -uh. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, you guys already know when it comes to God Seven, like my brain is gone. My brain is gone. So I loved that. So I'm gonna go. Honestly, I feel like they're one of those groups where there's so much bias killers in here. That's like depending on which video you watch, your your bias is gonna be, be out the window because it's gonna be a bias killer in there. And y'all already know who my bias killer is in God Seven. You, you already know who my bias is in God Seven. But still, come on, Bam Bam. Look at that wall. Hey, hey, hey. Will you be able to? My vice killer. <laughs> Honestly, I there is no video that goes by that does not make him my bias killer. He is my bias killer. I just, I just, I, I just can't. Who, who is yours? Let me know in the comments. And got seven. Who is your bias and who is your bias killer? I need to know. I need to know if we're on the same wavelength on this one. Oh. And then the bias killers always start with. It. I wasn't ready for that. I was trying to say get something. <laughs> I was trying to say something and then Jackson just came on. But what I was saying was I think bias killers, how they become bias killers is very subtle. Like you start off just saying, oh yeah, they're really cool. Like, yeah, oh my God, yeah, my God. And then there's always that one video that just changes everything for you and how you see them and how you view them. Yeah. All right, that's my, that's, that's my actual bias. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Him? Ooh, a 
I love that shirt. Oh, that is so picturesque. My God. Thoughts. I have thoughts. I have thoughts. The lyrics are deep, but I can't even pay attention. I'm over here vibing. What is a very deep song? Oh, you gotta sing it. Okay, yeah, that. Now we're watching the dance practice. Don't look at me like that. It's so funny I did that at the same time. Don't look at me like that. Jesus Alright, man. I glitched for a second. I glitched for I was trying to say something and then I forgot what it was because of that whole scene, that whole um, dance scene and whatnot. Um, oh yeah, Not By The Moon. Oh, that was a great song. That was a great song about the moon. I, I love, I'm glitching. I'm, can you guys tell I'm glitching? Um, yeah, let's just go into the dance practice because I had so much to say. But then I'm not even. Yeah, let's just go to the practice. Ah. Oh, baby, I went blonde. Why is Jackson dancing with well? It's kind of like practice too, right? The shoes he's wearing. Look at them lying. Hey, hey. color in him, like the grayish color. Aww. I'm just smiling, I don't know why I can't. I haven't done a dance practice in a while. I think the last dance practice I did was Stray Kids. Oh, nice visual. I'm just laughing at what Bam Bam did. Like little smirk Bam Bam did as he put his hand in there. Watch Bam Bam's face. That's hilarious. Watch his face. He's like. They're looking at all their style. Yeah. Why not let him follow? 
I'm not saying like what like, like the whole thing. Why not just create that? I like that though. Oh, those look can be like that. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. We're gonna go back. No, 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 no. I don't know why I set up for that. too smooth he did that well too smooth he... nah jackson stop last time i promise last time last time watch that hey he's a little oh no 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 there's a reason why jackson is my bias Jackson right now, guys. Ooh, I love that better. Oh, yes. That heavy breathing. That heavy breathing. Okay. I know I said I wasn't going to react to you. I said I remain, we may not react to you, but uh, who was I kidding? We were going to react to the dance practice anyway. We were going to do it. Um, okay, so quick, um, I guess, review of what the two requests. Um, I don't know, I already told you guys I'm actually excited to dive into them and at least listen, react to some of their, their songs. Um, I did like Maharani. I did like it. Um, would it go on my playlist because that's always our indicator on whether Onya really likes it or not why did i just refer to myself in third person okay anyway <laughs> um yeah i did like it i think i want to re re blah, 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 blah. i think i want to listen to it once more before it goes onto my playlist um i think the same with eclipse too i think i do like the song i want to listen to one more I want to listen to the song one more time before it goes onto my playlist. Um, it's always a breath of fresh air whenever I listen to um, GOT7, honestly. It really is. And I told you, I always overlook their, um, their <laughs> lyrics, even though the lyrics is deep. Because it's a really deep song. Like If we go back and look, listen to the lyrics, it's, like, it's quite a deep song. Um, but I do like it. Um, yeah, yeah, GOT7, yeah, yeah, I glitched. I glitched. I'm never going to lie. All right, so that was it for the request um, of the week. Guys, go into the comments section, throw in your requests, what you would like to, for me to react to. Um, like I told y'all, I you can send me anything. I have a very eclectic taste. I'm open, to, I'm open to a lot of things, a lot of things. Um, but go ahead and throw comments what you think I would like or what you just want to get my opinion on. I'm just um get me to react to it could be a show it could be um it could be anything a reality show too it could be anything throw it in there um i'll take a look at it and then in the next um r and r we will react to it oh speaking of next r and r um i will be traveling um therefore i may not have the time to go through um the request right away and just react to it in the following week but what I will do is I will react to it when I'm back home because I am going to be on the move for two weeks. But that being said, thanks for those that um, requested for me to react to GOT7 Eclipse as well as Alam Alamat Maharani. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now we are going to pivot to Onye's Choices of the Week. Let go.
Okay, first up, what do we have here? Only stresses of the week. <gasps> we have some fun things that I cannot wait to react to. I actually cannot wait to react to it. First up. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be fun. So, where did it go? Okay, here it is. So, we are going to react to Red Velvet's Wild Side MV. Now, I have been a little hesitant in reacting to Red Velvet because I realize that whenever I react to Red Velvet, for some reason, there are people who want to jump into my comments and be snipey. And this is one of the comments that they said. Someone was like, "If you want, if you want deep, come to Red Velvet. If you don't want, if you want, if you, if you don't like anything, then go back to um, um, Blackpink." Now, I won't lie. I do like. I'm a big fan of Blackpink. I am, um, but that doesn't mean I don't like Red Velvet. So I don't know why people think I don't like them. Um, I really actually do. I actually like Red Velvet. Um, I just, I mean, if you're going to be deep with a song, I'm going to go in and try and be deep with the song too. It's my opinion. Y'all got your own opinion too, but don't come in my comments with the negativity. This is a positive, positive, positive channel. You can throw your opinions in there. Tell me what you think about it. That's perfectly fine. But don't be grimy. Don't be grimy. Don't bring negativity over here, okay? We're good. We like them. We're giving them their flowers, but we are, we can also not like a song. Like it's not. It's normal for us to have fan. Well, to us to be fans of a group and not like all their songs. It's normal. I mean, I I'm a Man U fan. I'm a Manchester United fan. Sometimes I want to punch my team. It's normal. So yeah, chill, chill. So on your choice. First up, we have Wild Side Red Velvet. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, are we going to jury heist? to go back to honestly is Japanese songs like J-pop, J-rock. Oh my god, I need to go back into that because I just they, they that that's what actually brought me into um this part of the world like the K-pop world um was first be just I think I told you guys this before actually just me watching um a lot of um Japanese shows, Japanese movies. Um <clears throat> let's do a lot of Japanese songs like J-pops, a lot of Johnny's was all from them um before then pivoted over to korean shows and then k-pop and all that stuff but yeah i'm loving this <laughs> background that I'm not really liking that much with the with their black and white but when you take the black and white and put them in the other um in the other backgrounds I actually really really like it again I know like they're supposed to be it's kind of the jewelry guys in a way um to the, you're looking into the other part of yourself I get that um just visuals wise I really love like when they're in that and still in their black and white because I really love the black and white but like in the in the other 
the one with all the chairs. I can't speak. The one with all the chairs, because it kind of pops them out even more. Hey, like yeah, this is this setting. I love it. It kind of makes them like the center. Ooh. I love this. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's go back. Like, I love these visuals. Like, it's cause it's kind of like you you have the color in the background that's making the person in the center like the the focal point. And it's like it, it's. Hey, hey, yeah, it's like with the flowers, I love it. I'm forced to measure like a puppet. That's not a visual. Tell me that is not ca like oh, like I'm getting excited right now. This this Jesus, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Hey. I love those earrings. I love. I'm not gonna lie. I love it. <coughs> I love it. Yeah. All the visuals in that just <laughs> took me away. It just took me away. Oh, so, okay. So it was part of their um, first full album. Japanese? Japanese? Is it? Oh, huh, interesting. Interesting. This was about a year ago. But I, I did like I like I did like the um oh Bloom was the album itself, the name of the album. I did like that. I did like the um the visuals were crazy. Like I got the concept of the song, but those visuals were crazy. Um Okay, so our indicator. Do we, do, how much do we like it, the song? It's one of those ones, again, I guess today is that that kind of track record where I have to listen to it once more to know whether it's going to make the playlist or not. The the, the visuals for me were just crazy. The vocals were just crazy to me because, I, I mean, I, it's red velvet. I know their vocals are always going to be really, really good. Um, I got to listen to it once more. I got to listen to it once more. So, so far we've got... Eclipse by God Seven, my God Seven. That I have got to listen to one more to see to see if it's gonna make the playlist. I've got Alamat Mahurahani. Once more, I just want to listen to him once more before I decide what I'm what is gonna make my playlist or not. And now we've got Wild Side by Red Velvet. Just once more to see if it's gonna play make that playlist. But I did like the visuals. I did like the video itself. Um, cool. 
Next up for Onye's. Let's see. <laughs> Onye's choices of the week. What do we have next? Oh, yes. Now I know what we have next. Didn't they add it? Yeah. So I saw this. I saw this. Um, I saw a lot of the, whatchamacallit? I saw a lot of the previous to this, a little teaser to this on my Instagram. And I said, we're going to react to it. I actually thought he was an army. Apparently he isn't. So cool. Um, but yeah, so the fur ends <laughs> official MV. Um, I'm, I'm curious as to how it's going to sound. Um, I, I think I've reacted to one of his other songs that I actually did like. It, came, it kind of gave me a boho feel, but it was also kind of like, um, what's, what's the right word? Futuristic in a way. Um, I liked that song. So let's see how we like this new song. Let's go. So this came out earlier this year. Sorry, this month. Tay Tay. Oh, I love that tub. <laughs> That's so Tay. Really? With no water in the fridge? Damn. I want some noodles now. only not even a few seconds in i mm, i love songs like this that just gets you and, the, and then it's the voice too yeah let's do it let's, let's, let's do it again let's do it again because i don't know like there are these all the songs were like okay i, I like it i like the vision all of these but it's like okay do am i really gonna commit this one i'm i haven't even listened to the full thing i'm committed right away let's see if my initial instincts were actually on point or if they were not on point let's see Awesome, but that's actually true when you're like in a <laughs> when you're I wouldn't say heartbroken, but like when you're in a funk where you don't like you're either in a fight with your significant other or the person you like is not really doesn't like you back or like that. That's when you see a lot of couples around, like literally, this is where you see all the love, love is in the air kind of shit. And it's like, oh my god. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh. I feel it. No, no. If we're going to be friends, be friends. Like, don't, don't try and say things or do things that it's not really friends like. Doesn't really qualify as friends, but we're going to be friends. No, no. We're friends with friends. There's no flirting. There's no insinuations. Like, if you're going to friend zone me, we're in the friend zone together. There's no out. There's no eating your cake, having your cake in YouTube. No, we're there. We're stuck there. We're chained there. You're not going to play me like that. No. I feel you, V. I feel you. Whoa. Dying and people don't even care. Oh my god. Okay. 
supposed to get the close to feel and then she's there feeling now 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 we're going down 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 yeah 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 but once you cross the line there's no denying you and I can never turn around no we'll never oh I love this I love this video like you're in your own world when you're in love you don't really pay attention to anything else <laughs> I love this. I actually love this. I actually love that. I yeah, I like that. Um so was I right? Um did I forget something? I definitely forget something. No, 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 no. I liked it. I liked it. It's going to my playlist. Um I even like just the um what's it called? the vibes behind it just the, the storytelling behind it like three different um storytelling one with him just being miserable um hating love <laughs> and pretty much not okay think about it this way right first the first part you are you're friend zoned so you're in that sad place and everyone else that's when you begin to pick up on the love is in the air right and then when you're actually in love, when you're actually with a person that you like, you're in a relationship, um, you're so focused with each other that you're not paying attention to anything that's around you. Um, any kind of negativity around you, you're not even paying attention to it. All you're, you're so involved. This is what I kind of call the honeymoon phase because you're so into each other, you're so involved with each other that you're not really paying attention to anything else that's in the um, environment. Even if there were people that were, you're not paying attention to them, right? As opposed to if you were actually in a place where you're like, hey, screw love whatnot then everything you see is going to be around that it's kind of like when you want a car when you see a car for the first time and you see a particular brand you're like, oh my god i love that or you purchase it that's when you're going to see it all around you same kind of shtick and then in the end it's kind of like well which one was the real life right one you end up dying no one cared about you no one's crying over you because you were alone the second one yeah you enjoy that life better but you still end up dying <laughs> and but you had someone to to cry about you and then the end is like, okay well which one do you want do you want that one or do you want this one so i i, I like the thought process behind it i love the lyrics because you it, it also applies to like someone in their everyday life i really really do i liked it um yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Whew, so uh oh jimmy tommy tony montana with red sugar oh that's interesting that is interesting. So, there is a last song here that I'm going to react to. Um, is it only the audio? <gasps> no, it's only the audio. Damn. It's only the audio. Wait. I'm sorry, guys. It really is only the audio. So, I think I'm just going to react to it anyway. It's the song with um, this time around featuring G Idol. I really thought there wasn't, there was a music video behind it, but I guess there wasn't. Right? Am, am I bugging? No, yeah, it's just a, uh, it's just the um, yeah. So we're going to react to it. So let me just put a pause on it for right now, because I haven't, I actually haven't heard the song yet, but I did see that they were together 
yeah i did see that they did a thing together so i'm gonna react to that and let's see so this time around jlo fishing giotto let go let's see so no video just listen to the song and see what we think We're gonna do it right. We don't give a f u c k about what they feel. It's cool. It's a cool song. Yeah, I think so far I'm just liking the um the beat. I do like what the lyric stands for, right? It's like I'm not trying to point in your life. Not bad. Oh, I think this is about, um, what's his name? Ben Affleck. say like when you know better you do better but that's not really true there are some people who know better but they still choose to do the, the complete opposite there you go That break, that music break is doing it for me right now. And I know who it is. That's my girl. That's my girl. I can't believe it's saying sing it in foreign language. Okay. I've got thoughts. I've got thoughts. My mind is playing out. This really can't be an anthem song. I'm not gonna lie. Like when you're just done with the BS and you're gone kind of to that age where you don't care. Yeah. Or you're just grown up and you're like, screw this. What did I think? What did I think? Okay. All right. Um, this is going to go on the playlist. This is going to go on the playlist. And only because of two things. One, G-Idol. That 
the way they came into that song sold it for me. The beat that they used to transition to to um, G Idol's um, part of the song sold me. <clears throat> the flow of it all, like it sold me. Especially when you're like you're featuring as a group to one person's song, and you can still mesh that way. Yeah, sold me. Um, <clears throat> also, second part. It really does sound to me like an anthem. Like when you've grown up, when you've gone through stuff and you've gone to that point where you're like, I don't even care about what y'all talking about anymore. I don't care. Like I'm going to do me. Your thoughts, your opinions, I could care less for. It's just going to dust off my shoulder. I could care less of. Um, and then when you get to that point, when you get to that standpoint, when you get to that moment where it's like, yeah, I don't, I'm not going to sit here and make decisions based off of someone else <clears throat> and how that other person views me when they don't even know me at all. Yeah, nah, nah, it's clear. Nope, we're not doing that. We are not doing that. So I did like, those are the two reasons why <clears throat> it'll get my playlist. Especially that second reason, because I'm in that, I'm in this point, point in my life where I'm like, look, if you have negative stuff to say about me, if you have <clears throat> only negative stuff to share with me, Miss me with that. I don't need that in my life right now. We are about moving up. We're about sharing positivity. <clears throat> We're about helping each other grow. Like there is, like I keep telling you, like there's way too much negativity in this world for you to sit there and give a damn about all the people's negative shit. Nah, be about your own. Be about your own. Be about your own meaning, your own growth, your own positivity, and sharing growth and um, positivity to, to all the people as well, to those in your circle. And make sure your circle is lifting you up and that you too are lifting your circle up. Because all of this nonsense about, and then you sit in there and let someone else who is just miserable try to get you to be miserable and telling you what you should do about your, with yourself and your life. Nah, screw that. So that really just, that's why I'm like, yes, because I'll be running and I'm like, yeah, screw this, screw this, screw this. I'm living my life. Like that's, that's the, that's the vibes right now. That's the mood right now. But that was Onya's Choices of the Week. I'm going to see what I'm going to do next week with my choices. It's going to be a little different. It's going to be a little different. It's not going to be all K-pop. It's going to be a little different. It's going to be a little different. Um, but yeah. How, what did you guys think of all those songs? Let me, know, let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of it. Which ones did you like? Which ones didn't you like? Um, and out of all of those, which one would you rate up? Which one, which one would go on your playlist? Um, from everything you've been listening to so far today, which one would go on your playlist? Let me know. Let me know. Let's converse. Let's converse. Um, so <clears throat> now we're going to pivot into the review of the week. Shogun. What do I think about Shogun? For those of you that don't know what Shogun is, where you been? Where you been at? Where you been at? Shogun is a new show that is on Hulu. It's an FX show that's on Hulu. Um, some of the cast members on there you know, especially um, Hiroyuki, what's his last name? Oh my God, Sanada? Sanada. Um, he's acted a lot of movies, a lot of shows. So you'll know who he is. The other girl in there, I forget her name too. She, I think she, I believe she's Japanese as well. You'll know her. She's been in a lot of shows as well. But pretty much it's a... Let me, let me even give you guys the actual um, breakdown of it. It is a Japanese-American historical drama. Yeah. Um, set in the 1600s um, when Lord Yoshi Toronaga is fighting for his life as his enemies on the Council of Regents unite against him. This is where a mysterious European ship is then marooned on a nearby village. So these are, I think they're English from an English ship that gets marooned on the island as they're trying to search for the Japan um, on the east side. And <clears throat> one, they then capture one of the captains. Um, well, he became the captain because the main captain killed himself because they were, they've just been starving and whatnot and just lost at sea. They captured him and he pretty much has to kind of navigate not being able to understand them, not even being able to speak the language and trying to survive, you know? It's a good show. Like, there was this part of the show, spoiler alert, there was this part of the show where <laughs> um, one of the um, 
one of the lords. He's not, he's not really a lord, but he's right underneath him. He's one of his um, people. He comes to a nearby village where that ship got, gets marooned, and he's he likes one of the. I guess he likes the the what's his name the the main one of the main characters that got marooned. They one of the captains got, that got marooned there, and so he said, "Okay, well, someone else is gonna take your place from dying." And that other person turns up turns out to be one of his <clears throat> crewmen. And this guy is so messed up in the head that he likes hearing people die. So he puts the crew member into a big pot of water and boils him, literally boils him. And he just sat there in his yard listening to him yell and scream. And that was probably one of the, was one of the most <laughs> disgusting parts because you're just hearing like the, you, you can see it. You can see him yelling because he's boiling alive. You can see his skin melting and you're like, oh my God, are we really watching this right now? Um, so episode one, um, again, really, really interesting. It, it, it captivates you because there's so many things that are happening. So there is the political stuff that's happening. Um, you're still being introduced to that era, what's going on in that era itself. How um, <clears throat> Japan is, I think that was around the time where like people, they cut off all the people that were trying to come into Japan to preach Christianity, um, <clears throat> to kind of close their doors to that. But then there's also a lot of political stuff and chess movements that are happening. You see it from the very beginning. Like the main, one of the main character, um, the Lord Tornaga, going into, um, what's it called again? Oh my God, how did I forget the name? Now Osaka. Is it Osaka? Who is the, that was the main city at that point. Going there where the um, the regents were knowing that if he was going to go there, it was going to be his death. But being, being a prisoner to his enemies, but still being able to have spies in different places to tell him what's going on. Uh, <clears throat> so he can flip the script on them. It is very, very interesting. If you are interested in a lot of political stuff, um, a lot of political chess movements, yet yeah, with some grim, um, and then put it into put it into context, like the other things that were happening in the world around that time. This is a show for you. Um, if you're not into that, I, I I suggest you don't watch it. Um, like even I okay. So one thing I didn't know, um, I think it's Sepon. I f I forgot what it's called where like if you do something against if you commit an atrocity a crime um you kill yourself like you yeah you kill pretty much kill yourself and god what the hell is the name but you you ask for um you you, you pretty much tell them like hey i'm going to commit this because i committed this crime All right but what i didn't know was in certain cases they will take away the right for you to have any air um from your family line and so one of the when the um the main guy the lord taranaga was in the meeting with the council of regents they were pretty much saying that hey you pretty much betrayed us <clears throat> you are permitting are committing conspiracy <clears throat> you're holding the mother of the next um king in um <clears throat> in your own hometown in your own area one of his um <clears throat> warriors fighters was ready to pull the sword and fight over because they were, he was like, you guys are being unfair. <clears throat> you guys have no evidence for any of these and you're just jumping at him. And so he then, when <clears throat> Lothar and I was like, you need to calm down, you need to chill because his head is like, I'm trying to play chess with these people because <clears throat> if I outright go against them, I'm not going to win. So I have to use my head. So the guy, then then the, his warrior members apologizes and then says he's going to commit Sapun, I think it is. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. There is an actual word for that. I keep forgetting what it is. <clears throat> where he's going to commit the murder and, and commits his own murder. And then end the life of his, um, whatever air. End the, the airline for airline. End the, um, the line of air for someone. I'm not saying that right. But I didn't realize that. So he had a kid too. He had a son. So his son, he had to kill his son and himself too. And I was like, holy shit y'all do that really oh my god because i thought it was just you but i didn't realize that duh if you're going to end um your line of the family your airline 
that includes your children as well. But then they didn't, they would not allow his wife to kill herself too. They said, no, you, you have to stay alive, but then you have to watch your, <clears throat> you have to <clears throat> bear witness to your husband committing that to himself as well as your child. And I'm like, that's crazy. Cause then I don't want to end my own life. If I, if his mistakes is causing my son to die and my son's not an infant, that was like, goes one of the craziest parts. So I'm like, what is going on here? But, and that was episode one. So I'm still in episode one. I still have to go and watch what happens. Cause where I ended was where the main, um, the character from the ship, I mean, the captain from the ship, um, I believe his name is um, Blackthorn. That's his, that's his last name. Um, he gets to finally meet um, Tornaga, well, Tornaga, because <clears throat> the, the where the ship the ship got marooned was one of his um, areas that he looks over. He oversees. Um, so took him there. They meet, and he thinks that Blackthorn is going to be what's going to bridge the gap. What's going to change? That's going to change the tide um, from him being <laughs> captured by his enemies. Um, also, Tornaga is a shogun. Well, he can be a shogun, um, but he doesn't. He doesn't want to take that on because his family line is very. Um, they, they, it's very. Um, what's the what's the word? I am missing it. But they is he has a very um, important bloodline, so he could be one. But he doesn't want to be one. He's shying away from that. And one of the women that were there that was taking care of the young, soon to be king, um, said that, hey, like you need to take over your own um your 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 your, your fate. Like it is your fate. Because if you don't, who is gonna protect him from the others that are trying to kill him so they can become come into power? And the only way they're trying to the only way they can succeed is by getting you out of the way. But you're saying, oh, you're going to protect them, but they're trying to kill you. And they will succeed if you don't take over what your fate is supposed to be. Right? And here we have it. It's kind of like in Dune where, um, God, what's his name? Oh, my God, what's his name from Dune? Main character um, does not want to go south. Is it south or north? Yeah, he doesn't want to go south because he feels like he's going to be forced to become um the al qaeda al is that what they called him he's gonna be forced to become that which means he's going to be forced to take a path that he doesn't really want same thing here too but this one he's got i think with the way they kind of set the stage he's gonna have no choice but to in the end it's interesting it's very interesting i can't wait to watch more so that's the review for shogun let me know if you guys have really watched shogun episode one what you guys think about it in the comment section i am still going to go watch more of it i don't care if you guys spoil it for me that's okay throw it in there i'm someone who can rewatch something so it's fine so throw it in the comments that's all for r and r today with onye um r and r react and review with onye if you haven't already hit that thumbs up subscribe to the channel we're trying to get to 800 subscribers for right now um so go ahead and hit the thumbs up subscribe to the channel um yeah all that good stuff so yeah next week we're going to go into more of our react and review a little different a little bit different due to me traveling but i love y'all i hope i don't have any um editing issues this coming week but i love y'all um continue to spread positivity continue to spread positivity into the world give it give it your all um and yeah, that's all I got for y'all. I just went blank. I went blank. So, love y'all. And I'll catch y'all next time.